What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Power of Play with CJ. I just want to focus on uh, Pat LaFontaine, one of the greatest Buffalo Sabres of all time, uh, resigning from his post as general manager of the team. He got named to the position and on an interim basis uh, back in was it November when you know the wheels were really starting to come off the bus for the Sabres. And, uh, you know, him and Teddy Nolan came in. Uh, Nolan, I'm hearing conflicting reports, could be out the door or be offered a three-year extension. This is what kind of sucks about real-time media is um, basically, bottom line, well, what sucks about real-time media is you get conflicting information, but the bottom line is one party wanted to resign Miller between uh, LaFontaine and Murray. The other party did not, you know, and... Um, it's the other one. The other party wanted to trade him between him and uh, Tim Murray, the general manager. Uh, Lafontaine was vice president of hockey operations, president of hockey operations. Excuse me. So you know, I think this is what happens. Is the, what it looks like to me is there's organizational dysfunction. Now I thought for sure with a guy like Pagula in charge, you know, it'd be a rebuilding process, but they wouldn't be BS like this. Unfortunately, that has been that has not been the case. Um, it really looks like there is. Um, a disrupted ladder or a disrupted chain of command where there's not too much clarity on who's making the hockey decisions. And I'll tell you what happens when you have complete and total organizational dysfunction. You become the Dallas Cowboys. You know, you look at that. I know that <laughs> I'm sure being a 500 team is something the Buffalo Sabres can only hope for at this point, this juncture in time. But you're looking at the team Jerry Jones has put together. You know, not only necessarily the team team, but, you know, he has lost his football people. You know, that's part of it. You know, he, he got a guy who wants to be, you know, everything in the organization, and it's affected the team's ability to be successful on a consistent basis. If Buffalo doesn't clear this up, this can be a, a lingering issue because whoever comes in as the next president of hockey operations, you know, what is his role and capacity to Murray? Now, I always operate on the presumption that the GM answered to the president of hockey operations, but apparently, you know, Buffalo, that was a point of contention, and uh, the GM got his way over, um, over LaFontaine, whatever... The, the break was. I'm assuming Murray wanted to make the trade and LaFontaine wanted to resign him just from the way it looks, but I guess it could have been the other way around. But again, real time media problems. Hashtag that. Okay. But, um, you know, I think as much as I was for re signing Miller, in the grand scheme of things, I think the team's better off long term with what they got. They got, you know, full Devils ransom, a King's ransom, excuse me. And I mean, they can still wheel um, Chris Stewart. And or Halak to I think Minnesota was in on Halak and Ottawa wants Chris Stewart so that's something to look at. Um, I mean they're in a, they're in the driver's seat in terms of the rebuilding process, but you know having a power struggle within the front office within the organization reflects poorly on the organization and um, you know makes it a, a tougher situation from an off the ice vantage than it was on the on the on the ice. In the on the ice capacity, I don't know why that became a tongue twister all of a sudden, but you know it's just something. Again, keep an eye on it. Uh, hopefully, you know for the sake of Buffalo Sabres fans, they can right the ship. You know, obviously not this season, but you know going forward. And I, th I believe they will. I think they get good ownership. It's just a matter of figuring out the whole front office thing, which could be uh, could be the Achilles heel to this uh, great overhaul they're, they're undergoing. Anyway, that's on this episode of the Power Play with CJ on uh, Pat Lafontaine resigning resigning <laughs> from the. Uh, President of Hockey Operations of the Buffalo Sabres position. Stay tuned for episodes of the season and beyond. Later, guys.